Borneo's jungles are home to some of the most impressive animals on the planet. This episode is all about one that stands head and shoulders above the rest. The Bornean elephant, a subspecies of the Asian elephant, might be the smallest in the world, but they can still weigh up to three tons and can stand over two meters high. Elephants are some of the jungle's most sociable species. Highly intelligent and evolved animals, elephants protect their family units. Many generations can often be found in a single herd. People travel from all over the world to see the Kinabatangans, famous elephants. One person who spent her life studying these animals is elephant ecologist Farina. A while back, Farina and I tagged a matriarch called Ratu as part of another project. Today, we're off on a mission to find her and the other collared elephants to make sure they're all well and happy. My name is Nurza Farina Osman, but people just, just call me Farina. And I'm from Kedah, that is the northern part of Peninsula Malaysia. I am doing a project on the movement of Bornean elephants in Lower Kinabatangan. What I love the most about the elephant is their social life. I'm a mother, so it's good to see the bond between family groups, how much they care. I realised when I follow this group that they need some voice to tell the world what are their problems. Uh, and I think I could tell people the plight of the elephants. So Farina, it was a while back that we went on that crazy mission yeah. to tag Ratu. How important has this data been to you? So far we have collared about 14 elephants uh, in Kinabatangan, so she will be again uh, representing a different family unit, so she will tell us again if she's using the same area with the other collared elephant or different one, uh, because we need to understand which area in Kinabatangan that's important to this family. Elephants must travel great distances to find enough resources to sustain themselves. With the increase of human population, development and agriculture, the elephant's natural habitat is disappearing. People and elephants are encountering each other on a more regular basis. As a result, human-elephant conflict is on the rise. In order to mitigate this growing crisis, it is vital to understand the elephants and their movements. As we headed into the jungle, we were joined by experienced research assistant Coco and Wildlife Rescue Unit's vet, Laura Benedict. I felt very safe. Uh, usually when you want to try to detect the elephant using VHF, you will have to try all the direction and you find the, the strongest sound, then you go to that direction. Okay, so we're and heading deep into that, uh, yes, into yes. that Bornean jungle. Yes, yes, a little bit more tracking, yes. All right. Even without the VHF, it was easy to see we were on the right path. Let's go this way. So it's the, I decide it's the beep we're listening out for? Yes, yes. Okay. How far do you think they are? Oh, that, that one is quite strong, so not too far. Yes, so they are just behind us, but they're not that relaxed, so we need to give them some time to be a bit relaxed. We don't want them to think that we are threatening them. With Farina leading the way, we proceeded with caution and respect, but sometimes wildlife is as it should be. Wild. <laughs> As a mock that, charge, that was it? That is not a real charge. Uh, it's just to scare you off. It worked. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it scared me. It scared the crew. 
So they certainly scared the cameraman who ended up down on the floor. Did you get any of that, cameraman? Did you film any? No. <laughs> Farina decided to let the elephants relax and come back in the afternoon when they come down to the river to feed. With the VHF and collars working perfectly, it wasn't long before we got our reward. The elephants were on the river. Oh, lucky. more chilled out than earlier. Yeah. <laughs> it's their feeding time, so yeah. Hopefully more will come out. Well done, after the hard work this morning. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and then something entirely unexpected happened. The elephants began to cross. They are so lucky, right? It's very hot and be able to swim in the in the river. not often lost for words, but that is truly one of the most special, remarkable things I've ever seen. Whilst we didn't see Ratu, we did see another collared elephant, and this family unit is doing just fine. Farina, thank you. That was an amazing experience. Oh, don't thank me. You are very lucky. Like, I am lucky as well. The Kinabatangan is an incredible place, and thankfully there's people like you guys around who are doing your best to protect it. So yep. thank you. Through their research, the scientists at Danau Garang Field Center are helping to unravel the mysteries of the jungle. <laughs> With Borneo's rainforests under siege, DGFC have shown the importance of science in conservation. As I leave the center, this passionate team of scientists will continue their selfless work to safeguard the future of Borneo's wildlife. There is so much we can learn from their dedication. Together, we can conserve these species. We must all act.